Hello, this is Simon from BoltonGuitar.co.uk and this is, my, is part one of my tutorial on how to play Mario Giuliani's Andante in C major um, and to the older uh, guitar players in the UK would probably remember this piece as the theme music from the children's television programme Tales of the Riverbank. Uh, now I'm starting with the left hand and then later I will then uh, show you how I'm playing the right hand fingering. So we'll start at the end of bar one, um, which starts with two pickup notes. It's in 2 4 time, so we're starting on the third fret of the first string G. We play that note and follow that by playing the F at the first fret on the first string. So that is. We continue that by placing the third finger on the third fret of the fifth string, C, and we're playing that with the open first string, um, E. And we play that and then continue the sequence by playing the open third string, G. So bar two starts by playing. We repeat that. On the second beat of bar two, you place the first finger on the F at the first fret first string and we play that with the open fourth string D and continue that with the ringing third string. So that now bar one and bar two. Bar three continues by placing the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string E and the little finger on the third fret of the first string G. We play the two notes together and then again play that open third string uh, G. That keeps ringing through these uh, first four bars. So we play. So that's the uh, fourth string and the first string together. We're now moving back to the C on the third fret of the fifth string. With the, along with the open first string E and then that G ringing. Bar 4 is the second finger placed on the second fret of the fifth string B and the little finger on the third fret of the second string D and again we play we pinch the two notes together and continue with that open third string. We're back on the with the third finger onto the C on the third fret of the fifth string and the open first string E. Play it again. Um, so from the beginning we have Bar five, we have a little uh, run or scale sequence of notes, um, starting with the fourth string D bass note, played along with the G on the first string third fret, and we're doing a slur from the G to the F, so we play the D and the G together, pull that little finger off to sound the F on the first string first fret, take that first finger off, to play the open E string and then hammer that finger back down onto the F. So that beat is, I'll play that again. Um, on the second beat, we place the little finger on the second string third fret giving us D. That's followed by the open third string G with a slur or a hammer on to the A on the second fret and that followed by playing the second string open. So bar five is play that again. Uh, now 
Bar six, we need to play, place the first finger on the C on the first fret of the second string and the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string E. We play those two notes together, followed again by that open third string G. We play the fourth string again and then placing the little finger on the third fret of the second string, we're playing the open third string and second string together. So that is now. On bar two of, uh, sorry, on beat two of bar six, we're playing the third fret of the fourth string F, along with the open second string B. And then hammer the second finger back on to the A on the third string. So we play the G, third string open, hammer the finger onto the second fret A, and follow that by playing the second string open. So beat two of bar six is. Notice what you, you must try and keep that third finger down on the F so that that note, which is written as a, um, a quarter note or a crotchet, is ringing through whilst playing the upper notes. So you're sustaining that bass note. So bar six is. I'll play that again. Bar seven is just a repeat of bar six. And now we come to a somewhat tricky passage on bar eight. Uh, it's easy to get your fingers in a bit of a tandle with this one. So we need to play the C again on the second string first fret and replacing the second finger on the fourth string E second fret. We play those two notes together, followed by that open third string G again, and then we're playing octave D. So we're playing the open fourth string D and the third fret second string D. That is now followed by the third finger landing on our C at the third fret of the fifth string, and we're playing the first string open. So bar eight for speed is. I play that again. Uh, the second beat of bar eight is taken us into an inversion of a G seven chord. We place the first finger on the F on the first string first fret, and the second finger on the fifth string second fret B. We play the fifth string and. Um, first string together, follow that by placing the little finger on the second string, third fret D. So now that's giving us and to end bar eight, you place the third finger back on that fifth string, third fret, and we play the first string open, so we're playing the fifth string and first string together and finish the bar off by playing our C on the second string first fret. So bar eight is and bar nine um, again we get a continuation of a little scale run. We're playing the third string sixth fret, uh, sorry, the third fret of the sixth string G and the open first string together. And then continuing our scale passage down. So you have D on the second string third fret, followed by the C on the second string first fret, the open string, that's the B onto the third string, second fret A, and then the open third string. So that now gives us, I'll play that.
again. And then we're then back to the first string G, third fret, followed by F on the first string. So that's actually taking us back to the, the beginning of the piece. So if bar eight through to bar nine is. Play that again. Again. Uh, so that's where I'll finish on bar nine and now over to the uh, right hand. Okay now to, to continue on the right hand and um, I play this piece purely in three strokes and um, so I'm starting with the G and the F on the first string and I'm starting with the middle finger followed by the index finger and then the chords I'm playing the first string with the th third finger of the right hand and the bass note obviously with the the thumb that open ringing third string is with the index finger so that is Third finger again, third finger again on that first string. Now on bar four, the melody is changing to the second string, so I'm now using the middle finger of the right hand, and the index finger again for that open G. Back to the third finger on the first string. So we've got. Notice the third finger plays that first string. Now we drop it on the second string, so use your middle finger, second finger. You're going back to the first string, so you're using the third finger. Now on bar five for the scale passage, I'm starting with the middle finger and using alternate index. Uh, I'll turn it middle then index finger so middle finger index finger middle finger index finger middle finger so that's bar six we're on the second string so I'm using the middle finger then the chord that's the third string and the second string together. I play with the two fingers and then drop to the fourth string with the thumb. Index finger plays the third string with the slur. Then the second string is played with the middle finger. So that is. Which is repeated. Um, another way of playing bars six and seven is to play uh, the first part the same as before, but as we get to the chord playing the third string and second string, you can also play that with your thumb and your middle finger, and then your thumb again plays the next part of the beat, so that will be. really doesn't matter go for the finger that you feel more comfortable with um, bar eight we're playing the fourth string and second string with the thumb and middle finger followed by the open G with the index finger there's a pinch with the thumb and middle finger on the fourth string and second string then as we drop in onto that first string I you play that with the third finger and the bass note and then our chord, I'm pl again playing with the third finger and thumb, the second string with the middle finger, and then I repeat that again with the left hand just changing the note. So bar eight, right hand is, I'll play that again. Bar 
bar nine, the scale passage down is played with alternate fingers. So I'm playing the sixth string with the thumb and the first string open with the middle finger, followed by the index finger, middle finger, index finger, middle finger, index finger. Back to the first string, middle finger, index finger. So that's. I'll play that again. So from the beginning we have. So that's covering um, the right hand um, and I'll leave this tutorial at that point and uh, continue from bar 10 on part 2. I hope this tutorial helps you to play this uh, piece and I hope to see you on the uh, part 2 of this tutorial. Uh, music and tabs are available free from my website boltonguitar.co.uk Thank you for watching. Bye for now.